On Saturday, June 13th, looking pale but smiling broadly, the six crew members of the Hawaii Space Exploration Analog and Simulation, or High Seas Mission, emerged from the dome on the slopes of Mauna Loa, where they had been isolated for eight months. Led by the University of Hawaii at Manoa, this third NASA-funded high seas mission was meant to simulate what future Mars explorers might experience during long-duration space exploration, psychologically, socially, and biologically. A big part of the job is actually socializing with the crew um, to be able to stay as a cohesive group and bond, uh, so you have to be prepared for that as well. <laughs> Despite sort of the, the isolation, it's a very intense social situation that mm -hmm. you're around people more than certainly I ever have been, um, and sort of interacting with everybody all the time, and that takes some getting used to. Under the guidance of UH Manoa Principal Investigator Kim Beinstead, the crew has set the stage for a fourth year-long mission in August, where new challenges await a new crew. Each mission contributes to groundbreaking research and is an unforgettable experience for all those involved. Because it really was, and I, I, it's an experience that I'll cherish the rest of my life. I'd definitely do it, for sure. Yeah. 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 When asked what it felt like to be out of the dome... To feel a, a little bit of a breeze is, yeah. is something very different. Okay. And what better way to feel the breeze than with a tandem parachute dive, which is how the crew celebrated the end of their mission.